Hey guys, it's Project Slammy, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Silver. And in this part, I'm so done with Lugia, so I trained up my Pokemon, and I'm just gonna go go into this cave that we haven't been in before, down by Pewter City, and apparently it's Mount Moon. And here's Lindsay, of course, hanging out in probably one of the, mo one of the most shadiest, most changed places. Wouldn't it be cool if you could still get a fossil here or something? I mean, but now Lindsay here is probably just looking for more fossils, so she, he, whoever, can sell it for drug money and, uh. I mean, then again, you couldn't really do anything with fossils in this game. The Cinnabar's blown up. It looks like they blew up over here. So yeah, you know what I'm just gonna do? I'm just gonna shit all over them. With my level 80... Uh, fucking 70 Pokemon. I literally spent all day grinding up. Beat all the trainers in Kanto. I grinded in the Elite Four a little bit. And yeah. Oh boy. <sighs> you know, I just set the ball out because let's just see how how far down Lindsay has gone. He, he, like, out of all this time, he could have, like, level 100 Pokemon. I mean, I remember in Johto, people used to be talking about him. Oh, this asshole stole, stole my Pokemon. And now, he, he's nothing. He's nothing after we beat- We literally destroyed this person's whole life. Just by beating him, like, five times throughout the game. Sad. And oh, Typhlosion, I'm sorry I have to do this to you. Typhlosion, you're one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. But I'm sorry. Body slam. Dead. Ugh. I actually forgot completely about this fight. I was wondering why he wasn't showing up at the Pokemon League. And I was like, what the hell? You know what? Let's show off. Yeah, I have new move sets and everything. I took it, taking in sunlight. Somehow in a cave I'm taking in sunlight, but okay. You know, for the past couple of hours, I keep thinking it's Monday night, and I'm like, ooh, I can, I can go get the Clefairy shit done. But, you know, I can't activate that cutscene because it's a Saturday night. Yeah, th this is what I do on my Saturday nights, by the way. <laughs> it's pretty sad, I know. Oh well. <laughs> Who cares? Who cares? Giga Drain, why not? Yeah, I taught Struggle Giga Drain. Specifically for the final fight. Gengar. You just don't look that menacing. You're probably- yeah, I curse. And you're gonna knock yourself out. Dude, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna win. I have a level 81 Pokemon. Specifically so I can fight another level 81 Pokemon. And I'll actually, I'll show, I'll show you guys off the, uh, right after this battle, I'll show you what I have. Body slam, dead. He, like, he doesn't even jump, he just, like, bends down and just, like, moves forward. Can you imagine that fucking, <laughs> Can, like, that's not even a body slam, to be honest. Like, that's more of, like, a, a spear. <laughs> alright, alright. Yeah, no, you're not. No, you're not. I ruined your life. Go away. Go away. I ruined your life. Just stop talking. You're a ginger. No one likes you. Goodbye. Alright. Let's get the hell out of here. Before I run into a Zubat or something. Guys, I'd, I'd walk you through that cave, but it's literally, like, two rooms. Two or three rooms, and that's it. Nothing but Zubats, the occasional Clefairy. But yeah, I will see you guys at Mount Silver. And by the way, I accidentally got the uh, reason why Silver was uh, Mount Sil Ugh. Mount Silver was unlocked for whatever reason. I went to Mount, like I unlocked Mount Silver. You know, testing out a few things on one of my save states, and I guess I must have 
accidentally done it on this one, on my Let's Play one, because I was trying to see, like, um, if I could actually run into any of them with Suicune in Mount Silver, but apparently you can't. Cause I, I don't know, I, I read somewhere that you could, so I went there, but to no avail. But just to clarify, you have to go to Professor Oaks um, after you defeat all 16 gym leaders. <laughs> God, that sounds so weird to say. All 16 gym leaders, you have to go to Professor Oaks, get this like pass thingy or whatever, and then you can pass that trainer up by the Pokemon League. And that will bring you over here. So let's fly there for our final episode. Oh my god, why, why do I sound... Okay guys, I am back. And let's go into this cave. I set up a max repel, hopefully that will be enough. Now I think the only HM you need is flash. Hidden machine, whatever. Only thing you need here is flash, I believe. There is a waterfall, but it's not mandatory to um, advance in this area. And let's just let's just get out of here. You know, it would have been cooler if there were no Pokemon leading to this fight, so you can be like, "What the hell? You know, there's no Zubats. You know, no nothing." That would have been way cooler, in my opi in my opinion. That would have been cool. Because honestly, yeah, see there's waterfalls over there. Because was a trainer like red could easily be explained that he made them all faint. Just chilling up here. This black pit around him. Where do you where else in Pokemon games do you see black pits? Other than fucking Will's gem, I mean come on now. Like this is there he is. Oh my god, he looks just like me. No he doesn't. He has a backpack. Only cool kids have the backpacks. And he says nothing. Is he like a ghost or something? I heard somewhere. I've been scouring the internet for more evidence. Apparently he's a ghost. That's why he doesn't say anything. That's why he disappears. And you put his soul to rest by meeting him. I don't know, but people are always finding creepy ass shit in Pokemon. And quite frankly, since this this is not Ash. This is the, uh, the hero of the manga. Or whatever it's called. This is, I don't know, I don't know how, the per, the correct pronunciation, I can't even pronounce English words. Uh, <laughs> you know, I can't pronounce manga, apparently it's manga, I'm not sure, but you know, he's the hero of that. But he, this is not Ash, I thought this was Ash when I was a kid, because you know, he had the fucking, yeah, get your stupid full restore out of the way, that's why I did that, so you don't use it on your Snorlax and make me go crazy. And this is this is the Pokemon I struggle to fight. Naturally, I could have sent out Sandy and just blew him away in one turn, but that's no fun. That is not fun. So let's use it. Are you fucking kidding me? Ah, uh, this guy used a uh, this guy used a full restore cheat, dick. I was about to say he's a rare candy treat. He probably did with a fucking Pikachu at level 81. Are you kidding me? Venusaur, yes, let's change. Oh shit, I didn't show you my movesets. That's okay, let's send out... Fuck it, MVP? Let's do this. It's just a Venusaur, no biggie. No biggie. And if you use a solar beam... I could always just fucking uh, fly up in the air. You can't do shit up there. Sunny day. Uh oh. He can do shit when he does that. Let me tell you that. He he can do shit if he does that. Put him to sleep, please. God damn, he's gonna use solar beam. It's okay, you little piece of shit. Ugly piece of shit. Look at that thing. What the hell is that? A big ass toad? Like holy shit. Yeah, hypnosis, finally. And now, since it's half poison, where do you, how can you even use Sunny Day and fucking Mount Silver? We're still in a fucking cave. I don't care if it says we're at the summit or not. Because you're actually at the summit where there's fucking snow all over the ground. Like it's friggin' Alaska or something. Well, honestly, I thought that was pretty cool. But as you can see, 
Mount Silver is not nearly as developed as it was in 4th Gen, where they had... They made a, a bit more of a pain in the ass to get up there. Dream Eater, come on, let's knock this guy out, because this idiot used all three of his full restores on his fucking Pikachu. Even though it's clearly un inferior to fucking, uh... What do you call it? <laughs> I forgot my starter's first name. Struggle. Okay, so he's sending out him. Who would be interesting? Naked, you didn't do anything. Send you out naked. Yeah, that, that's what I'm talking about. A blast noise on all fours. When I was a kid, I thought he was just bending over. I was like, why would he be bending over, though? Let's be a dick. Yep, yeah, I had to go be a dick in the last map. <laughs> I have, like, so many moments where I just decide to be a dick. Yeah, see, and your attack missed, too, so you suck it. Well, I thought that Blastoise might actually be faster than me. I was worried about that, so I was like, you know what? Yeah, finally, we we actually do something, finally. Jesus Christ. It's just a miss fest. I mean, at least Thunder is allowed to miss. I mean, hell. Whirlpool. That's such a shitty move, honestly. Well, then again, no, it'd be good because I'm switching around. Okay, guys, it's time for the epic... The epic fight. An epic fight. A fight made to happen. Espeon? I might actually be way over leveled than Espeon. No, I'm not. Okay, cool. And look what I'm equipped with. I taught him Moonlight. I taught him Faint Attack, Psychic, and Confusory. He was kind of my backup in case MVP ended up, you know, dying. And when this guy sends out the Snorlax, I'm gonna be really mad. I don't have time for Snorlaxes. Yeah, so I decided to be a dick again. Confuse them. <laughs> Did like two damage, but I don't care. Maybe 50. No, not 50. Like 30, 20, something like that. That looks about 30 or 20. Wouldn't it be funny if this- yeah, see, this thing can only use Swift, that's gonna take out, like, two damage. Alright. Yep. There we go. Die. Okay. Alright. Alright, now... Probably gonna send out Snorlax, right? Yep, Snorlax. Okay. I need to paralyze it. Just like the first Snorlax, I have to paralyze- Oh, oh shit! God damn it, that doesn't work. Fuck. Because he has rest. Son of a bitch. Oh well. Whatevs. Whatevs. It's gonna thunder wave him. Because he heals it when he uses rest. That's bullshit. You're a dick, Snorlax. See, this is what I get for being such a dick all fight. Ooh, dynamic punch. Nope. <laughs> God, I, I want to use Squidward. Squidward hasn't gotten any love lately. Why does it keep missing? Fuzzy. You are... You're sabotaging me. You told me to teach him dynamic punch or something. And look what I did, and now he's gonna die. That's okay, because this Snorlax is honestly the only bad thing about this fight. I mean, even his stupid, uh... Oh! Wow. Okay. Yeah, Snorlax is like the worst thing about this fight. To be quite frank with you. Not really that bad. And Sandy, I would love to use you. But I think I'm gonna go with Squidward, see what Squidward can do. Squidward has not been able to do anything epic, and if I can give him the last... I mean, he has, but... You know, I'd really like to give him the last hurrah. It's, oh my god, this Let's Play is ending, I can't fucking believe it. It's been like a year and a half in the making. Nah, it's been like a year in the making, and oh boy. 
It's been a crazy ride. This one hits it, I swear to God. And I one hit it. Great. Um, guys, thank you so much for watching this Let's Play. We finally, and my brother's texting me. And it's been an amazing ride. We beat the trainer, the dead trainer. The living dead trainer. I'm in his backpack. His backpack full of rare, rare candies. And we're watching this for a second time. Dancing Blossoms. Thank you to all these people who made this game. Oh my god. If it wasn't for them, I, I wouldn't have never played it. And I would have never... Let's played it, obviously. And yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching this Let's Play. I don't even know what to say anymore. But this is the end. It's the end. Like, I'm not ever going to be recording this game anymore. It's so sad. I can't believe it. There's nothing else for me to show, really. I don't know. It's very overwhelming. I've been not wanting to record this ending just because it's my first Let's Play and I'm having, like, this strange feeling. Like, it's the weirdest thing, ending a project. And But you know what? I'm, I'm proud of myself for finishing and st like finishing a project like this, starting it. I mean, hell, like, it's a lot of work. And you know what? Anyone watching this who, who's wanted to do Let's Plays, do it. Because it's fucking fun. And I'm so glad I, start, I decided to do it sometime in, I think it was 2010. I mean, but I didn't actually get to start the recording till like, uh, you know, around, I think it was like September 2011, due to like, things, but thanks for everyone supporting me throughout this and commenting on my videos. I, and this isn't the end, there's gonna be a second Let's Play, obviously. There will be future Pokemon Let's Plays, but not immediately after. I need to take a break. Pokemon. It's just been too much. I don't even know what to say anymore. It's just been amazing and thank you so much. And no. Oh, hey! Didn't bring me to the title screen. Bullshit. Alright, guys. For the final time, I hope you guys have a good night. Let's say goodbye to my team. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be sad. I'm gonna miss you guys, but... I'll see you guys next time on whatever I'm doing. Probably a lot of vlogs and stuff, but... See you guys in the next Let's Play. I love you, and have a good day.